Uh, welcome to Rise of the Third Power. My name is Usser. Um, ooh, I better get some settings up. This is an indie JRPG. You know, I've been doing a lot of JRPGs, but they're my favorite type of game. Hi, <coughs> <coughs> didn't see anything I needed to hit in settings. Let's start a new game. I really want to play this game. It's pretty highly recommended. Uh, but I was waiting to at least show it off a little bit on the channel. Stego Soft Games presents. It was a dark and stormy night. Game by Evelyn Hall and Joey Peters. This has got to be just about the stupidest plan anyone has ever come up with. Is my memory failing me, or was kidnapping the princess not your idea? Doesn't mean I don't think it's stupid. Awesome. I don't know how you ever got Raina to go along with this. Sounds like something you got out of a fairy tale. Yeah, but if this were a fairy tale, we'd be the bad guys. Maybe we are. I was about to say, are you not? Just flings her. Published by Dan Gen Entertainment. Or is it Dan Gen? I don't know. So they drop down and sneak attack the guards. Evening, gentlemen. What the? This is a restricted area, civilian. I don't know who the hell you are or how you got here, but you're under arrest. He just pulled out a gun. Drop your pistol now. Sorry, mate. I like this pistol. Whack, whack. Nice. Tied him up. Don't rip them up too badly, kid. Our reputation's bad enough as is. Yeah, yeah, I know the drill. Since we're probably not going to make it out of this one, I just wanted to say thanks for doing this. Oh my god, do not get sentimental on me right now, kid. Really know how to suck all the fun out of dying, Rowan. <laughs> Rise of the third power. <coughs> Tessel Evenheart, Kingdom of Serinthia. Fifteen years have passed since the guns of the Great War at last fell silent. The conflict rocked the world, leaving half a generation of men and women lying dead on the battlefield. In time, Dmitri Noriskov, a hero of the defeated kingdom of Arcadia, rose from the ashes. He saw his king as a coward for surrendering and a traitor for submitting to the Treaty of Evenheart. Oh boy. So does people. They supported Noriskov when he overthrew the king. Supported him as he reclaimed the lands that had been taken from them. They supported him as he raised an army. Norskov had theorized that the nations of the world were still too wearied by the Great War to oppose him. Thus far as Gambit has proven successful. The Arcadian Empire shows no signs of curbing its aggression. It is feared by many that a reprise of the Great War that at one time could have been prevented it is now all but inevitable. There are blues who believe it can yet be stopped. Chapter 1, From the Jaws of Defeat. So, whose side am I on? Okay, so why are we doing this again? Kidnapping the princess was your goddamn idea and you don't even know why we're doing it? Rana <laughs> said we had to stop the wedding and she wanted to talk with the princess. I don't know, kidnapping her just made sense. 
Well, you can have her explain it to you if we make it out of this alive then. If I die without ever knowing, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> Looks like two soldiers, one officer, two unarmed nobles. Any chance we can sneak past the nobles and flank the guards? Nope, we're going in hot. Well, here goes nothing. What are you doing? Rowan! Hey, we're about to die. Can you cut me a little slack? I'll fight better drunk anyway. That better be true. That's not enough to get you drunk, unless he's been drinking this whole time. Nice. Knock them right out. Energy. Uh, for ability use is obtained in a variety of ways. Uh, Karina regains energy quickly each turn in battle, whereas Rowan's is earned by taking damage or using a slash ability. For combat, all party members regenerate half of their MP. Cool. Hell. Well, we're outnumbered and I'm out of sleeping powder. Can you handle it, kid? No sweat. My pack's full of this stuff. Okay, good. I'll talk the one in the cave. You put the mage to sleep and we'll focus down the last one. Sounds good to me. Let me at him. Sleeping powder. On the mage. Said to taunt the one in the cape. Uh, Multi-targeting. Some skills have two ways in which they can be used. Against a single target or against an every available target. Skills with this option will have the button tooltip you see on the left. Press the button indicated and toggle between one of the many targets. Okay. Uh, if it's healing or damaging, its effect will be divided. If it's a primarily a status effect, its duration will be reduced. Well, he just told me one in the cape. Then we're going to take down the other guy. Uh, skills. Quick slice. Nice. Slash him. Oh, he's bleeding now. <coughs> that should take care of him. Boom. Restores 25% HP, increases strength, and reduces defense. Ah! Deals heavy damage. Heck yeah, Rowan. Use that pistol. Uh oh, the mage is up. I need to uh, take it out. Ow! So the pistol and the, the sleeping powder can only be used every so often. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to heal. Like every four turns. So certain of your abilities, you have to kind of tactically think about this. You want to use them when you can. Victory! Now, is everybody at the same level? Alright, those guys should wake up for a few hours at least. What's next in this ridiculous plan? Hey, attitude. Have another drink. Now you're talking. Miss Reyna knows the castle pretty well. Princess Ariel's room is on the second floor, below this one. Uh, take out the guards, find her, and use the sleeping powder on her, then get us out of the city. Rowan, are you even listening to me? For love of, would you give it a rest already? Mmm, yeah, that's the good stuff. You're the one who, that told me to drink. A sip? Fine, and I was listening. Princess downstairs, sleeping power. I, powder. I got it, let's go. That didn't make you any less grumpy at all. Mmm, good kitty. So I see someone over there and I'm not sure. 
I should go near him. Supply of potions. We took a beating that last fight. Better make sure we're healed up for the next. Yeah, try not to forget. It's not like our wounds will just heal up on our own. Revive. Okay, so there's a locked door. And then there's this one going down. I'm sure... That's ah, barred. <coughs> this is the door that leads to the princess's room. We'll have to find another way. This one's locked. I need to find the bronze key. All right. It's got to be him. Let's check first, though. I did not look at all to the left. So we got Bard, we got a bronze key door. We discovered some gems, which are basically just treasure. All right, let's go spring the trap that guy set up. Oh there, good morning and welcome to Castle Evenheart, home of House Liriata and ruling family of Cerinthia. You don't take offense by saying so, but you don't exactly strike me as guests of the royal wedding. Not sure how you got in here, but I'm afraid you'll have to come with me. I don't think so, mate. Bro, watch out. That one's elite. Elite? What? How? This looks like another random jackass I haven't shot yet to me. Well, trust me. Elite enemies are tough, and they drop special loot, too. Looks like her armor's tough. I can deal with that by sundering it. We can use Eviscerate to whittle her down, too. Okay, Rowan's gonna need to heal himself. Nice! Nice dodge. Okay, let's sunder that armor. And pistol. Yeah, she's tough. Oh, we've got bleeding. Nice. Heroic strike. What? What? Ouch. Definitely hurt. But that Sunder Armor worked really, really well. 14 experience. Nice. Uh-oh. Bet if we're quiet, we can sneak up on that other patrol. They'll probably come back this way, though. We jump them from behind, we'll get the first strike in battle. Ah. Good call. Hey, you're pretty good at this whole murdering people from behind thing. Stop it, you're gonna make me blush. Fuck. Alright, take out the mage first. That didn't work. They turned around right as I started to get close. Boom, mage is done. I'll sunder that person immediately. Definitely digging this so far. I got the bronze key. So, first thing we're gonna do is the ones on the left. <coughs> okay, we'll let all these guards sleep off our sleeping powder in there. If anybody finds them, they'll see my empty flask and think they were just drunk. And they really, really won't remember anything. Somebody used it on me once, woke up with a hell of a hangover, and my memory was pretty much gone. Should buy us enough time to grab the princess and get the hell out of here, though. Now, let's go see what your bronze key unlocks. You sure it just wasn't a regular hangover? <laughs> yes, damn it. 
Probably. Anyway, we got a bronze key now. Let's go see what we can do with it. Yeah, I'm going to the left side first. There's a guard dog up there. Looks like this is the barracks. Most of the guards are probably sleeping. Let me look. What's up with the frogs? There are a couple guards, but this place is full of giant toads. Keep your voice down. Wait, toads? Yeah, the barracks is crawling with them. Don't let them touch me. All right. Okay, I was not going to talk to that dog. That dog is... Oh, that does go somewhere. Uh-oh. What on earth? Wait. What? All right, let's take out the mage frog first, because that... <laughs> That's a phrase that I should be saying in life. That frog looks like frog from uh, Chrono Trigger a little bit, but what on earth? Wow, giant frogs. Almost gained a level. There's a treasure down there. Okay, so the treasure's going to be worth it. Let's get the frogs. Whoa. Just a frog. Elite deadly frog. That's problematic. Okay, kill the frog. Rowan will kill the, the healer frog. And then we're going to have to worry about the elite. Level up. Obtain Warrior Stone 1. Uh, magic Stone feels heavy in your hand. It's used for crafting. Oh! That means give experience points which contribute to the entire party's level meter. Uh, the party levels up as a unit, so there's no need to try to juggle experience points between multi-party members. Uh, leveling up rewards the party with talent points, which are also shared across the entire party. You will need to discuss where and to whom they are allocated. After you unlock talents for any given character, the cost of their next talent will increase. Boom, lesser heals. Awesome. So I've got two points available. Death Blow grants the skill Death Blow. And then we'll grant the skill fury. Boom. We spend our talent points. So, interesting. You level up together, but you get a limited number of points to spend together as well. Okay. Sir, Giant Toad, clean up detail reporting in. Giant threat has been beaten back. Their numbers have dwindled. Now only three toad squads remain, marshalling their forces in the prison below. Why do you have to be so serious about everything? Sir, practicing for the real thing, sir. You sound like a real soldier, huh? Shut up, both of you. What are you doing back here? For if there's still toads down in the prison. Bathroom break, sir. Ugh. You! You're the exterminators, right? Uh, yes. Finally, by the storms of Earth. <laughs> Freaking out over here. Name's Stein, captain of the guard here at Evenheart. The rest of the toads are downstairs in the prison. Clear them out and we'll pay you your fee. But I mean every last one, you hear me? Well, I already killed one of them. No, two of them. Well, this barracks in pristine condition, well before the wedding be ceremony begins. Sure thing, mate. Uh, Rowan, a word? Why are we exterminators now? It's good enough cover. Wearing out these giant toads shouldn't take too long, probably. If you let any of them touch me, it'll be your ass, Rowan. <laughs> uh. 
Okay, so yeah, we'll have this place towed free before you know it. See that you do. All right. I wasn't going to fight all of them just because I was like, well, why bother? There's nothing else down here. But I will now. Uh-oh. Deals heavy damage to a target, restores 20 energy if the target dies. Jesus. Well, let's start quick slicing toads. <coughs> uh, Fury deals heavy damage to a target. Basic orders attack. Oh my god. I'm glad I killed two of them. I want to see what Fury does. Damn, that was badass, Rowan. All right, let's do Death Blow then. A little bit of overkill, but hey, she's got plenty. It looks like that's the last of these toads. I'm sure Commander Tightass will be happy to hear that. So happy he'll give us something as a reward. I don't hear their infernal croaking any longer. Is it done? Yeah, it's done. Thank the stars. Well, you two guards return to your post. As for the exterminators, here's your reward. A book, novice. Instructions to craft novice level equipment. Cool! Primary means of improving character's attributes. Throughout your adventure, you will come across recipe books that will unlock the knowledge needed to create powerful equipment. Will require special stones obtained from powerful elite enemies. All right. What is this? A crafting recipe? You guys pay with recipes here? Hey, uh, we were also supposed to uh, have a look at the rest of the castle. Ah, good thinking. Lord Philip must have asked you to do that, eh? Right. Once the castle will be locked up this time in the morning, uh, Lord Philip furnished you with a key, I trust? He didn't. Hmm. That ain't like him. Man's usually got a stick up his bum about that sort of thing. Uh, you'll keep this between us, I hope. Well, he's got an awful lot to deal with, with what with the wedding and all. Here, I'll lend you my key. You make damn sure I get it back, though. Silver key. Ah. Well, I promise. Be on the lookout for more toads. But well, there's a silver key door. That guy paid me with recipe book. Hey, if you ever learn to read, maybe you can make some use out of it. Let's go. <laughs> wow. Whetstone. I should have what I need to craft. Stein's necklace. Strength plus three. Oink. Crafted items are automatically equipped. These are permanent upgrades that each character accumulates throughout the game. All right. So if I get another Wout Stone and Warrior Stone, I can make Razor's Edge and give her a plus three. All right. Probably should have given it to her. I didn't really look at it very well because she's the one who's dealing a lot of the damage. That's okay. Let's go in the silver key door. Aha! That's how you do it. All right, sneak attack. Uh, let's take out that mage first. Nice. About halfway to my next level. Wow, Rowan, do you know what this is? The throne? I'm guessing whatever you're about to say is more interesting than Cerinthia's throne room. It is, you jerk. This is where the Great War ended. What, did they fight the final battle in here or something? The treaty that ended the war was signed in this very room.
Sorry, I guess it's stupid. My parents both fought and died in the Great War. I've heard so many stories about them. It's just strange to be standing where it ended, so far from my homeland. Kid, we do not have time for this. Sorry, we can go. Rowan's right. Saving. Okay. That looks like the king and queen. Volatile trinket. 2% chance to negate damage taken. The character can equip one accessory at a time in the character menu, and they offer a wide array of bonuses. Uh, if you emerge victorious, it will gain experience points towards its attunement. Once attuned, the accessory will gain additional stat and increase in gold value. Cool. Um, so I'm going to give it to Rowan because, oh wow, 2700. Because I'm taunting with him, I want him to have a chance to not take damage. Glad I explored that direction. It's getting light out. Here we are in the main hall. Ariel's room is upstairs. Okay, I got one guy to take out. I want to get to the, the princess area and see what's going on. Now that we're, we've got this exterminator's cover, I wonder if this place has any loot. I can't take two minutes to remember my dead parents, but you've got time to loot. Come on, there's always time for loot. You really are an ass. Uh, that's funny. Oh, 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 oh. She's got a point, Rowan. Oh, okay, second floor. Reyna said this is where the princess's room is. Gotcha. This has got to be her room. Key Stein gave us doesn't fit this lock. Are you serious? Yes. You're a thief. Can't you pick the lock or something? No, the only locks I know how to pick are the ones in the jails back in Nadim since I got arrested so often. Nice. Well, I guess we better see if we can find the right key then. The only part of this castle we haven't been yet is down the stairs of the main hall below us. May as well start back there. The stairs lead to the third floor, which is back where we started. Maybe we should head downstairs and see if we can find another key or something. Yeah. There's a guard. Where are you going? Whew. <coughs> All right, we're getting close to level three. Now that I've done that, we can explore around here a little bit better. This leads outside. I don't know what kind of patrols are out there right now, so let's stay in. Okay. Uh, I didn't think that was an exit. All right, Rowan, we will look around. Okay, so that's that area. Let's try going down the stairs. Ooh, look, Arcadians. I'm bringing enough booze to fight the, those assholes. They're tough. We better avoid them. Bring more next time. Yikes. So there's a silver lock up above. They're not moving. Gotcha. All right, she's already full, so just keep doing death blow. Heck yeah. Getting very close to leveling up. That doesn't sound good. Uh, 
Whoa, that looks really, really bad. So this is what the Cerinthians waste their resources on. Temples to the stars, how primitive. If I find myself doubtful we will see serious resistance from these people. I want extra security posted around the castle. I wouldn't trust these idiots to guard a bailiff, hey. Understood, my lady. Make sure none of our unwanted guests make an appearance. The Emperor's rapidly losing his patience with the so-called resistance. Frankly, so am I. Emperor Norskov has sent me here for that very purpose, my lady. They will be destroyed. See that they are. Move out. Time to run, run. Sometimes I wonder if this is even worth it. This place is even worth it. Uh, those soldiers are coming this way. We better hide. Yeah. That kind of limits our options. Hopefully we can find some way to get to the princess from here. Battle prowess. Increases damage by 25% and speed by 40 for three turns. Wow. Ooh. There's more. Revive. Lesser heal. Uh, save game. Yeah. Are you certain you wish to continue? Proceed, I guess. Stupid king and his stupid daughters making me ring bells all day instead of out there fighting baddies. Oi, who are you? Uh, exterminators? Oh, is that so? You look like a couple of baddies to me, are ya? I've always considered myself something of a baddie. We're exterminators and we're here taking care of toads, big ones. How about you get lost and let us work? You look, I ain't much of an educated bell ringer, I'll admit, but what kind of exterminators needs a pistol and a pair of daggers? They're, uh, really big toads. I don't buy it. I've been itching for a fight. Maybe if I bag me a couple of baddies, they'll let me back in the army. Put them up, baddies. I'm digging the music right away. I have a feeling this guy's gonna be tough, but don't worry, I've got an idea, kid. I'm skeptical, but go on. Well, I'm gonna throw you at him. That's your plan? Worked together for a while now, so I know we can do this. If we add anybody to our party, we're going to have to learn who we can do fancy moves like this with, though. And spend some time together as a squad. That's your plan? Trust me. You're going to have to trust me! Uh, combos. Every character in the game can unlock a powerful secret combo ability, each shared with another character. When the gauge next to a character's portrait in battle is filled, combo ability will be unlocked provided their partner's combo ability gauge is also filled. The unit in battle portion of the combo gauge will be filled for all party members. All right. Ron shares his buffing effect. Taunts the target and hurls Corina at the target, dealing heavy damage. <laughs> what? And now I need to heal Rowan. But he's taunted. Okay, so now it's time to death blow him. Ouch. Uh, pistol him. He is tough. Holy cow. Castle Bellringer has 1,200 hit points. In what universe? Shield. He's shielded by a frog guard with 240? This is bullshit. Um, uh, let's just quick slice him. Attack up, great. I can do fury again, fantastic. Ah! 
just healed her, and now I've got to heal her again. Oh my god, Rowan, taunt this sack of crap. Uh, I don't have enough. Death blow him. Boom! First real boss fight. That was pretty tough. Level up. We got a warrior stone. Oh no, you don't. I ain't going out that easy. Prepare to die, exterminators. Knock him out, Rowan. What in the world was that? Time to wake up, dear. Why is our bell ringer randomly ringing his bell this early? Also, it sounded like somebody just got punched in the head. I don't know, but random or not, his timing was certainly spot on this morning. Time to get up. Yeah. We're waiting in a matter of hours. Up! Goodness, Ariel, look at you. If it, you weren't a princess, nobody would want to marry you. Well, I am a princess, and Prince Gage is obligated to marry me, so let me sleep. <laughs> Very well, you don't have to give me that nightmarish death stare. I'll get up. It's more like it. Now then, I happen to have an important task for you that needs doing right away. Very well. Getting married later this morning. You remember that, yes? Hasn't slipped your mind? Yes, I mean, no. I mean, I remember. Good. You're going to go into town and pick your dress from the seamstress. Isn't that what I have servants for? Isn't this what I have you for? We made it very clear that she doesn't wish for her daughter to be some fussy royal tartlet. That's why you have me. That's what you have me for. Arcadia is a very different place than Sorinthia, you know. There are warriors there, and they will expect a warrior queen. First lesson I shall impart upon my new subjects is how to endure disappointment. <laughs> That's funny. It's that death scare again. Very well, if it'll make you happy, I shall fetch my dress. Good. Take Lord Philip with you when you go. Just told me Arcadia expects a warrior queen, but I'm not even allowed to go to the city unattended. Baby steps, my dear princess. Now off with you. Off with you. I have to get dressed. We'll make it quick. First thing I'll do when I'm queen is make a special dungeon for just my servants. Wow. Oh! I'm playing as her! There we are. So now I'm the princess. Okay. Goodness, our servants certainly seem busy this morning. So, where am I supposed to go? <laughs> Nobleman's all sleepy. Uh, I haven't found Lord Philip, but cares, right? And this place is huge. Good morning. As you can see, your father had a brunch prepared for your wedding guests. Wow. It's quite lovely. Would you like me to announce your rival? No, oh, it's quite all right, thank you. I think I'll be announced plenty by the time this wedding is through. I'll just wander about and maybe sneak one of those mimosas. As you wish, your highness. Who's Lord Philip? There's a whole bunch of sleepy people here. Duchess Victoria, Imperial Mage and leader of the Imperial Legion and his second in command. She's not exactly friendly, but I can't help admire the cold and calculating way she seems to approach things. 
Sure, it goes without saying how pleased I am that you are to win our love, Prince Gage. Certainly don't look pleased. I assure you, I'm positively ecstatic. Great war, our countries were enemies. The conflict is a generation behind us, yet the rift between our people has only just begun to heal. Your union with Prince Gage and the resulting alliance will do much to heal these old wounds. I don't know much about that. I'm merely a pawn in my father's politics. If marrying me off to a dashing prince is my father's idea of winning the game, so be it. That's most wise, your highness. The best way to win the grand game of politics is not to play. Alright, I don't know where this Lord Philip's at. Uh, ah, he'd probably be in the throne room now. Thank you for that game. I appreciate that. Next time I get a save point, I'll stop this one. I had planned on going to uh, kidnap the princess, but I guess we're not doing that. I understand that, Lord Rasheem, but you're missing on the bigger picture here. Think of the glory of it. Glory or not, Your Majesty, the Tariki Senate has significant reservation with this arrangement. Dmitry Norskov has violated the Treaty of Evenheart on three separate counts now, all of which were acts of war against his neighbors. Come now, it's a bit melodramatic to call stepping into your own backyard an act of war, don't you think? Psst, Lord Philip? Ah, good morning, Princess. You're looking appropriately lovely for a lady about to be wed, if I might be so bold. You might. Your father's having a rather spirited conversation with the Tariki envoys. It seems they have come once again to plead their case that our alliance with Arcadia is falling. Dar's wedding is a matter of hours. You do realize this, right? Our beloved little angel, light of my life, you've heard of her. Yes, of course, your majesty. Oh god, what is he doing? I've known your father for some 30 years, and I still haven't the faintest idea. <laughs> Why does Tariq oppose our alliance so much? I thought they were our friends. Old grudges are difficult to let go, I suppose. Tariq bore the brunt of the Arcadian invasion 20 years ago. But you think if they wanted to avoid another war, they'd be happy about this. Anyway, Miss Tessa has informed me that my mother insists I go into town to fetch my wedding dress and that I am to drag you along to babysit. We are most pleased to ensure your safety, if that's what you mean, Princess. Babysitting by another name, but Miss Tessa made it clear you'd be ta no talking my mother out of it. Very well, I shall be honored to follow your lead. Now then, that's final. When you turn to your senate, inform them that King Horatio is the kind of man that allies with his daughter's husbands. As you would have it, your majesty. Good. And then remind them that should they should have given us to Lindra after the war while you're at it. Darling, you're raving again. Am I? I hadn't noticed. No sooner do I mention her than my adorable royal daughter appears. Hello, little one. Ugh, good morning, father. You ever forgotten we're getting... You're getting married in a few hours, I hope. Like those glorified turnip farmers that call themselves Tariki envoys. I have not forgotten, father. Wow, that's pretty rude. Good, see to it you don't. Darling, truly the raving. Yes, yes. So, what will you be doing with yourself before the ceremony? Uh, Miss Tessa is having me fetch my gown from the city like some sort of garment-fetching street urchin. I understand this is at the behest of my apparently vindictive mother. It is. Good morning, dear. Don't take too long. I'm sure you'll need to get ready for the wedding the moment you return. I won't, father. You'll see my little pumpkin of a daughter stays out of trouble, Lord Philip. So far as a, such a thing is possible, your majesty, I intend to. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have more raving to do. <laughs> Let us make haste, your highness. Yeah, okay. So, there's probably like special conversations for those little stars, but I'm going to, um... Can I just save it? Yeah, let's save it right there. Awesome, I can just save. Cool. That's where we'll stop this one. I'll probably play another episode. I just wanted to show it off a little bit. I'm curious about when we get to the whole kidnapping the princess thing, because we kind of fucked that one up, didn't we? Anyway, that will be all for this one. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can see when I post new things. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Catch you on the next one. Bye!